Hello guys, good morning or good evening to everyone. So in the last tutorial we were seeing about uh, a JCL statements. So what are the different kinds of statements that we have in JCL like uh, job, uh, exec and DD statements so now. And we have finished what is about a job and what are the different positional or given parameters that we will be having in a job. Now in this we will be going to see about an exec statements and what are the different parameters we will be having into this. So I'm continuing with the uh, the last statement that is with the job card then I'm going to write a exec statement. So exec statements will be followed with one step name. So I'm giving uh, a step name can be an 8 bytes starting at the third column so I'm giving it as a step one the maximum can be eight bytes the minimum is depends on you the minimum is one byte or two bytes then I'm writing an exit statement here right I will be highlighting this Sorry. okay and here insert then okay exec followed by the exec and uh, as uh, same like a job it will have a positional parameters and the keyword parameters right here also we will be having a positional and keyword parameters so after this you will be writing in a program pgm is a one of the positional parameter that we will be writing so in this in program so we have different kinds of parameters uh, that is pgm equal to then third one will be pgm proc so this can be a load module okay and this can be a utility IBM has provided with uh, the default utilities uh, for either for creating a data set PDS or sorting so there are several activities that we can do using that IBM provided utility and load module is something that you you would be writing yourself a program using a COBOL, PLBAR, PLBAR1 or REX and you're going to use that in this JCL so then PROC, uh, PROC can be a predefined or reusable reusable steps that can be used for many of the different jobs so we'll be going to see in details about this so for now you understand like so the posi first positional parameter that can be used is a PGM it can be load module or utility or it can be a proc right then after this uh, we will be having another parameter uh, called that is as a keyword parameter you can consider this as a keyword parameter that is as that is known as a con parameter or the condition parameter so what it does is it is the first attribute will have is a written code and then an operator so what does it mean so if you are program I mean sorry if your JCL is having several steps like step 1 step 2 step 3 so I can write it as a step 1 or a step 2 I can write it as a step 2 then can write it as a step 3 okay so you'll be writing these different exit statements each step will have a, a each exit statement that is equal to some test 1 2 and I'm giving a condition parameter as 4 comma less than so what does this condition parameter specifies is if the previous step is less than 4 then only execute this step if not this can be bypassed so this condition specifies that statement so these the different conditions you can write it at, at the exit level then other parameter that we have is a a time parameter so time and another parameter we will have it as a region parameter the time is uh, nothing but it specifies the CPU time allocated for this uh, particular step so you can allocate a time for this particular step and you can also allocate a time for your job and another uh, parameter that you are seeing is a region parameter that is nothing but the amount of central storage that occupies when you execute these particular steps so guys so these are the different uh, 
the statements I mean uh, different uh, parameters that we will be passing when you are using an exit statement the first one will be the program name either it can be load module or ATD or it can be a proc then followed by if you want to specify any condition to the specific uh, step so you can specify the conditions and you can mention the time and you can also the range mention the region so this that's it about the exit statements so thank you so much for watching this video